Welcome back to Bike Matters. You're here with me, Meve, for another top 10 list. And today, we're looking at what the 50cc scooter can bring to the market for 2022. Kicking off the list, we have AGS with their Firefox. It's been on the market for a while now, and it's your typical 50cc scoot, meaning it's small and compact with enough power to nip you around town and practicality for everyday use, including that underseat storage space and rear luggage rack. With bold graphics and sharp styling, it certainly looks sporty, so it's set to gain a hell of a lot of teenage kudos. Known as a Chinese-built but British-born brand, any offering from AJS is going to be easy on the wallet, and with a £1,899 pocket money price tag, their Firefox is no different. Hence why it's starting our 50cc list at number 10. Making a name for themselves in the small capacity two-wheel world, the entry we have at number 9 is the vintage-inspired Sinus Encanto. As you can see, it's got retro styling from front to back, so the Encanto isn't just charming by name, it's also charming by nature too. It's available in two different colourways, Onx Black and Cafe Cream, and I've got to say, both give it a classic silhouette, but it's definitely the Cafe Cream that's favoured here. For those wanting something retro and on a budget, the Encanto might well be for you. It's definitely for me. Being compact and lightweight with low running costs and those classic lines, I just adore it. Can you sell? In a list of mainly sports and modern scooters, the Encanto offers that something a little bit different. And did I mention, I really like it. I also really, really, really like the £1,599 price. As a budget brand known for producing learner and pocket friendly Chinese made machines, the scooter we're shining the spotlight on at number 8 is the Lexmoto Echo 50. With a total weight of 78 kilograms, it's an extremely nimble and feather light scoot, the lightest of our picks today, and therefore an excellent way for beginners to boost not only their confidence, but their experience and independence as well. In addition to that, the sporty styling is shouty and loud, just like your mates are going to be when they hear you secured it for just £1,549 and we can't forget the 99 pence. That low price makes this a great option for those on a tighter budget or anyone looking for an alternative to being packed in like a sardine on the tube. Overall, the Lexmoto Echo offers a good level of spec for a low price, and that's why this big seller is well deserving of a place on our list. It's an exciting time for Kimco Super 8, because not only has this beginner-friendly scoot received significant upgrades, but it's also stealing the number seven spot on our list today. With the two-stroke model being so popular, Kimco have stayed close to the original by using a similar sleek and racy design, but they've made sure to give it a good dose of modernity through the now Euro 5 four-stroke compliant engine. There is good reason the Super 8 has been around for as long as it has. It's from a respectable manufacturer and it looks great. The £2,499 price may not be the cheapest on today's list, but it does make it an affordable runaround that could well be cheaper than a bus pass. All in all, through the new 2022 styling and updates, the Super 8 really is a super, sorry I had to, pick for our number 7 spot. Number 6 marks one of two visits to the French manufacturer, Peugeot, and our first stop starts with their big seller, the Kisby. With a few changes from its past two-stroke self, the Kisby now houses an air-cooled engine that reaches 3.4 horsepower, which is more than enough to get you across the city with ease. Other equipment that will make your journey easier is the underseat storage space, the front disc brake and 12 inch wheel. Whilst these are rather standard spec, it still makes this a great entry level scooter nonetheless. An added bonus is it keeps hold of its strong and modern design that made it such a hit way back when. This European offering offers a great mix of spec and styling, all for a reasonable £2,409. So is it a surprise to hear it's been a huge seller for years now? We don't think so, but what do you think? Now, we have a great offer coming up for all you riders based in the UK. With the help of Lexham Insurance, who power us right here at Bike Matters, they'll deduct £20 from any of our viewers' premiums completed through the link in the top right-hand corner. All you need to do is give that link a click and complete the quotation. Now, let's get back to it and see who made the final five. With three entries from the Piaggio group on our list, we're starting with Piaggio themselves. At number five, say hello to the nifty little Zip 50. Designed with practicality in mind, the Zip is small and compact and features ample storage space and Piaggio's signature iGet engine. Appropriately named, this little guy will have no problem zipping you around town, and because of this, it will make the perfect day-to-day -day companion. 
Style wise, though it may be basic, I think it still looks subtly smart. Traditional in colourways, meaning you can have the choice of black or white, <laughs> it's got that classy and slightly formal feel most Italian scooters have. Nonetheless though, the Zip remains a great option for those wanting a city commuter from a very well known and respected brand. One last thing to note though is, you may want to start unzipping that wallet because it can be yours from £2,150. Now you will notice something about the scooter stealing the number 4 spot today. Just by looking at Sims Jet 14, you can see it's significantly bigger than some of the others. And at 119 kilograms, it's also on the little porky side. This isn't going to cause any problems though, I'm just pointing it out as it's slightly heavier when compared against the others, but it actually means it will likely offer better stability. Whatever angle you look at it, you can appreciate its strong setup. From its larger looking wheels, muscular body panels and the stare from those LED lights, it's got the look of a mini maxi scooter and this is what will set it apart from its competitors. The Taiwanese brand Sim have been established for a while now and they've gained a reputation for their competitive prices and build quality. So is it any wonder they sell so many scooters? I think not. At £2,499, this is another scooter that mixes sports styling and modern amenities well. It's definitely one of the more premium finish and hopefully you agree that it deserves to be in our top 5. You'll have to let me know in the comments though if I am wrong. Stacked full of heritage, history and good looks, the Primavera is arguably the most famous on today's list and it kicks off our top three. Reliable and smooth with sure-footed handling, it was born for the cobbled, narrow and congested city streets and it carries the setup of a true commuter. And it looks incredibly good whilst doing it all, can I just say. We all know riding a Vespa as a statement and it's because of that chic and simplistic Italian styling that make it such a big one. They've cleverly been designed to tug at the heartstrings of the younger generation and with a range of colours that are very on trend, they provide an option for even the most style conscious teenager. Riding one is a pleasure and one of their colourways is actually called Verde Relax, so come on, you'll know you'll enjoy riding one of these. At £3,550, it's definitely a premium choice that won't be accessible for all. But you've got to remember that Vespa are a brand recognised in every corner of the world, so you're paying for that well-respected badge of honour and Italian styling that we all absolutely are more. Hands up or drop a comment if you're a Vespa fan. Just missing out on the number one spot but taking in the number two is the ever popular Peugeot Speed Fight. It's another scooter that's steeped in history and is as iconic as they come. It deserves such a high place on the list because of the way this sports scooter has and continues to push the performance and spec for a 50cc machine. It's been around for a long time, 20 years in fact, and keen to keep its popularity, Persia have brought it bang up to date through aggressive and angular looks, a digital dash and smartphone connectivity. It's also the only liquid cooled option on the list today and this reflects in its power. 5.2 horsepower is still nothing to scream about but it's a significantly higher number of ponies when compared to the others. The Speed Fight has been a hit from the word go, and because of its premium features, plus that reputation, it had to take our number two spot. And it may just be able to justify the 3,109 price tag that will hopefully tempt those teens from their savings. Riding away with the number one spot today is Aprilia's SXR50, and boy is it an exciting one, as it's not only new for this year, but it's also the brand's first Euro 5 compliant 50cc bike. We are very happy about this and we think it looks great. It's super sporty and mixes Aprilia's sports heritage with the realities of urban mobility. This includes the use of an advanced instrument panel with LCD screen, USB port, full LED lights and that ever popular Piaggio Iger engine. The only bogey is that rear drum. From a brand of this stature, we thought all components would have been high spec. But this seems to be the case with all 50cc scooters and their rear brakes. As a whole though, the SXR50 is Italian, so you'll feel instantly cool riding one. But you'll also be expecting a higher price, and today that's £2,400. However, that price does reflect the premium Aprilia DNA running through its veins, which make it such a good and competent commuter scooter. Aprilia themselves state the SXR50 marks the beginning of a revolution among 50cc scooters. The question is, will you be joining it? For me, it's those Aprilia looks, good spec and still competitive price that results in the SXR50 taking the number one spot today. That brings yet another Bike Matters video to an end. Before you go, I want to know what 50cc scooter you currently ride, 
or if you just pass your CBT and have your eye on one, which is it? Drop your comments below. And remember, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you have subscribed and have those notifications turned on. For now though, I'll see you on the next one.